If you are from here, if you're from this particular neighborhood, you don't have to pick a side, but you may feel like you need to. We're talking about are you a Harlandale Indian or a McCollum Cowboy? And it seems like most people do pick a side. We talked about this friendly rivalry a little bit earlier in the show. Well, David Sears caught up with some people who used to be opponents, now turned neighbors and bonded by their pride in the South Side. Twenty-one to seven, yeah. Yeah, and I got hurt. So and got hurt. then y'all started scoring. But that doesn't matter. You still got other team. You got to still have other teammates. Three and a half decades after going at it on the field, these two still going at it, sitting in the stands at Memorial Stadium, remembering those glory days from the 1989 Frontier Bowl. That is Harlandale Indian Joseph Farias and McCullum Cowboy Gabe Cisneros. And even though they're both in their early 50s now, they can still remember those days of busted heads, popping pads, and running plays. It's amazing that I can't remember, you know, algebra or geometry to this day, but I can remember when coach calls a play, I can remember what to do, or I can remember what we did. They even remember those certain superstitions. My superstition, when breaking breaking through the, you know, the poster, the, the poster and stuff, I always had to be last. And of course, they remember the blood, sweat, and slobber knockers. I can still see the, feel the snot coming out when you hit somebody yeah, and you're yeah. just you're just cleaning off your jersey because all the snot just came out yeah two guys from different schools but from the same neighborhood one big happy family supporting either school as long as they were not playing each other we still know we're family oh yeah we're south side family because if we go up against judson if we go up against clark you know Holmes, oh, yeah. we know we're going to be rooting for them yep. you know and and they're going to be rooting for us yes sir yeah it was all nice at ease one big happy family down here on the south side until it was time for that kickoff of the frontier bowl and no way they weren't even talking to each other anymore Students, players, coaches, even the community split for that one week. Every normal week, even when we're playing other schools, you know, for football season, you can go to the store and somebody will hold the, you know, the door open for you and you go eat somewhere and, excuse me, sir, how you doing, whatever. That week, if you're wearing the wrong color, if you're wearing green and you go to the store, the mm -hmm. store, nobody opens the door for no. you there from the other school. <laughs> no. The 89 Frontier Bowl, probably the greatest in its history. Harlandale down 21, able to come from behind and tie it with a throwback pass from Farias for the two-point conversion. Actually, I juked somebody that was trying to hit me. I juked them first, then I threw the ball. And what, I, what was the play? It was a renegade throwback pass. I see everybody coming up because they saw that pass. I guess they saw a pass, they, they saw heard the pass, throwback and came. To yeah. me, they sucked up and left Joey, in, by Joey in the back by himself. But the Cowboys still got the trophy. And with the tie and the 8-1-1 one one record, they made it to the playoffs along with bragging rights. And at the end of the game, that's all that really matters. Every year, it doesn't matter. You, can, you can go 0 and you, can, you can't win one game up until then. You know? When that game comes, that's the game. Yeah. That's the game. If That's you win, you got bragging rights for the rest of the year. More like bragging rights for a lifetime. But when the trash talking is over and the day is done, it's back to being family. Good seeing you. Take care. Those guys shook hands and hugged right here at the end. And then they started jawing at each other again as they were walking to their cars. So it was great. But you know, uh, Joseph Farias was wearing number 76. That is a jersey of a friend of his, Anthony Martin, who passed away a, a few years ago. But he wanted to honor his friend tonight with that jersey. They played ball together. They grew up together. They were in that Frontier Bowl together in 1989. And so he wanted to honor him. And Gabe Ciceros even knew who Anthony Martin was. And that's the kind of family that this community really is. They all come together except for that. One week. That one week. week. Not I love. We'll week. cheer for each other all the other games. <laughs> but when it comes to Frontier Bowl but Week, look that, out. You know, after the game was over, they came here and they either celebrated or they drown their sorrows. I bet they did. So. <laughs> I bet they did. This is a place to be after the yeah. Frontier Bowl. Yeah. So. Oh, love that story. Great Thank guys. you, David. Great guys. Thank you, David. You could have gone on all night. Yeah. Thanks, David. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for watching KSAT 12. If you are on YouTube, you can like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest news and weather here in San Antonio.